Hi everyone, last video I will introduce a great we'll talk about Everest and this video I will talk about Everest principal topic. Firstly, the principal guiding the technical and guidance designed for Everest reflect the principal for intensification for sustainable development. And set out by the Center for Global Development and the World Bank. The principle are that privacy is the human right and that individuals should have control over effectively all their own database of identity elements, including their biometric information should information should only be shared with the expert consent of the user and there should be records if the user right are violated. Users to be informed and compensated for access to their identity information and able to share data with another party or then access selectively. We propose to fund a network of identity verification nodes with Green Bee Garrus as the standalone foundation to ensure longevity, security, and transparency. On the other hand, Everest operates under the following anonymous, untraining belief and principle about identity information. Firstly, about an individual should be included, and um, if an individual does not have access to technology, they should still be able to participate. The system should be available forever. All individuals should be specifically identifiable. All information about an individual should be stored in the most skilled manner possible. The individual should process and control their identity. The individual should be able to selectively share their identity information per interaction. The individual's information should be not all are controlled by anyone other than the users. The system should be resilient against attack, and the system should be able to provide to other systems. Finally, the next I will talk about about sustainable development. The current process for identity verification is for to incorporate data storage, document verification, and conditional asset. Right now, institutions such as government, banks, and hospitals can only validate a finite number of users without overloading and increasing cost to an unsustainable price. Besides, ever Everest, every IT makes user validation fast and cost effective. It costs a few USD cents per ver verification and every chain can handle a volume of 1 to 10 billion transactions per month. With the ability to scale to trillion, the decentralized architecture of the platform also provides complete personal data ownership and higher level of security compare with current centralized or public distributed database. And it is estimated that it was six tax six children was lost to fraud and legal in developing countries between 2003 and 2012. By validating user identity with 100%, certainly with RIT verifying value delivery into the average list and tracking final consumption. Finally, thank you for watching. See you later.